Hi and welcome back to a new video. Today probably a short video, even though I'm often saying it should be a short video, but this could really be one. Elmore sent a new package over with the PMD, the power measurement device. This is a very, very nice feature, especially for doing open bench testing and also benchmarking yourself to track power consumption across individual cables. Very, very interesting device. And we will go over the features quickly and I'm going to show you how to use it. About two weeks ago, we visited one of the biggest data centers here in Germany, operated by Hetzner, and we featured this in an entire video. So if you didn't see this so far, make sure you're checking out the link in the description. In this video, we showed the entire data center and also how they're assembling their servers. And in this example, we are featuring the AX41, which we're also advertising in today's video. So if you're looking for a dedicated root server, which is featuring AMD Ryzen desktop CPUs, Ryzen 5 3600 with 64 gigabyte of memory and NVMe SSDs, you should definitely check out the link in the description with a very interesting price point starting from 34 euro per month depending on your exact location. So again, make sure you're checking out the video, check out Hetzner in the link in the description below. So this PCB is the PMD, power measurement device. We have five connectors, well, five input, five output. This is the part which is coming from the PSU. We have two times EPS on the bottom right here, and we have three times PCI Express. So you could track, for example, a mainboard with two times EPS and your 3090, for example, if it has three times uh, eight pin PCIe. And then there's also this tiny OLED included, which we will stick on here because you can see it reads ground on the top right and also reads ground here. So this direction should be the correct one. Then we also have this cable included, which will be for connecting the PMD to your Elmore EVC if you want to. This would allow to lock your measurements on a laptop, for example. So we will use this system just for an example. So we can track power consumption of the CPU and also power consumption of the VGA. And if you want to do some logging of your power consumption on a laptop, for example, then you would just hook up the PMD to your Elmore EVC with this cable. You have to buy the EVC separate, it's not included, but then you could lock it on a separate system, for example. Then we have, those should be like, laser cut acrylic sheets to be able to build some kind of like a case. Mounting materials, cables, should be two times EPS, three times PCIe, so everything that you need would be included. Going to assemble it quickly. It's connected to my system only to one VGA with two times PCI Express and one times EPS. Now we can see all the readings of the different connectors. There's a small button on the left where you can cycle through the different connectors. EPS2 obviously doesn't show anything right now because it's not connected and total power. It's a very, very fast reading. I mean, in reality, you also have like very, very quick sky, uh, spikes and everything, but it somehow also looks to be a bit too fast. So it's pretty difficult to really like, yeah, track what it's doing. It's not so easy to see. Maybe that will be easier once we're running the thing on the EVC already attached the cable. Now we're going to try to connect it to my notebook. Just notice that I did a small mistake. Those are just two different channels which can be measured. Channel one is PCI Express one, so that is one channel. But the second one, the PCI Express two, are two cables. So those are not measured like individually. It's not PCIe two and three, so PCIe two will always be those two connectors and the two above. So this is a new beta version of the Elmore EVC software. I just launched 3D Mark Time Spy with the GPU test first, which you can clearly see in the PCI Express 1 and 2 power consumption. So like this first one is all PCI Express 1, this is PCI Express 2, EPS 1, EPS 2, and then on the bottom right we have total power, for example, CPU power, GPU power. And looking at the GPU PCIe 1, for example, it's somewhere between like 40 and 50 watt and PCIe 2, somewhere between 50 and like 90 watt. So this is far better than just looking at a device itself. It gives you a better overview of the power consumption. Also that we had some nice spikes right here of the CPU power consumption. But yeah, that's still beta status and uh, Elmore will definitely still work on some updates for this. There's also a data logger function if you want to use that. So if you go to the back to the overview, you can also use the data logger, then save it as a CSV file because that might be easier to like get an average of the power consumption than just looking at those like a lot of spikes. 
but this could be very good for like re reviewers or if you want to do your own testing. Elmore also just sent me a preview of the scope feature. It's still limited in functionality, so it's missing a lot of features like trigger and everything, but he's still working on that and in the next days or weeks, especially I guess after Alder Lake release, he will spend more time on this and then it will have additional functionality, but you can see it's already showing like the different I2C connections and like the inputs, voltage, current, that's stuff you can adjust. But yeah, as I said before, it's limited uh, functionality right now, but will be added more in future soon. That was just a quick look on the Elmer PMD. Very brilliant tool, especially for the price. It's only $45 and considering what you can do with it, especially for extreme overclocking, keep track on like a, a CPU load, GPU load and everything. I think it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, might still require some work on his software, but he's already working on that um, to provide additional functionality for both EVC software and also for the scope software. There's also one more thing which we will cover in one of the future videos, maybe already next week. We already shot the video, so it's pretty much ready. And it's about an adjustable shunt mod, like universally usable on all the typical NVIDIA cards. So that should also be very, very interesting. All right, quick video for today. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Bye-bye.